is going to be a fall to winter transition video. Basically what that means, it's just inspiration for stuff that kind of changes in your life when it comes to seasons. So more specifically, decor, and I teamed up with Target Home on this. They're super easy decor ideas, nothing's DIY, it's just stuff you can add to your home that makes it look super festive and holiday-y without spending a lot of time. Food, obviously, who does not like to transition seasons with food or treats in specific? So I show you guys two of my favorite, really easy. And then, of course, some quick and easy fashion essentials that I've been kind of digging out from my closet since the weather is getting colder in New York. So if you are interested in this video, then just keep on watching. Okay, so the first decor idea is probably pretty obvious, but that is a Christmas tree. I always get mine at Target because they are not real. <laughs> they are fake Christmas trees. They're so much easier to handle, put together, and they don't make a mess, so I personally love them. Plus, you can get any size you want. I got a size up this year, woohoo. Um, and then I just go ahead and decorate it with ornaments like usual. The tree that I actually got from Target is pre-lit, which saved myself so much time, so I'm so glad they did that. Um, so all I had to do was decorate it with ornaments and I picked ornaments that kind of match the theme of my living room so I didn't have to spend too much time redecorating things. The next idea is festive pillows. This instantly transforms your living room or bedroom into something so much more festive. So as always, I go to Target just because it's super affordable and I can always find stuff that matches my living room or bedroom. So I found this one with a polar bear. I found another one with a snowflake that already matched the colors in my living room so it was super easy just to transfer out some of my pillows. So like this one already matched my couch pillows so I just switched it out and it was perfect. And my third idea is a centerpiece or table decor. This is perfect for the center of your coffee table or you can even put it on your dresser. So you're gonna start off by getting a tray. I got mine from Target. They have a bunch of different styles and you're gonna get creative and fill it with whatever you want. I filled it with this lantern I already had. It has a little cute candle in it. And then I went ahead and I put a bunch of pine cones in it. If you guys noticed from my fall video, I had a bunch of pine cones so I just kind of reused them. Then I headed over to the ornament section and I picked up some little tiny mini ones and I filled that as well. Put a candle in the other side and then I have this reindeer, I have like three from Target because they're so cute. Put it in like so and then filled it with whatever else you put on your coffee table or dresser and you're good to go. So between those three decor ideas, I think your space is going to look awesome, super festive. It's going to look like you put a lot of effort into it, but really you didn't. Now what better way to transition into the winter than with holiday treats? So I'm gonna show you guys how to make two really, really easy ones. The first one is frozen caramel hot chocolate. This is so easy to make, super yummy, you're not gonna stop drinking it. So the first thing you're gonna need is some packet of hot chocolate mix and you're gonna pour that into a cup. Then you're going to add 1 3rd cup hot water. I microwave mine for about 30 seconds. Stir that up. It's still going to have some chunks in it. Don't worry. And then you're going to set that aside and in a blender cup you're going to have 1 cup of ice in there and then you're going to pour approximately 1 cup of milk. I used soy milk so I kind of eyeballed it. And then I poured in kind of an eyeball amount of caramel syrup. You can kind of have fun with this. And then you're going to pour in your hot chocolate mixture. And then all you're going to do is blend it up to the consistency of your liking. I like mine pretty blended, so I did so. And then you're going to pour it back into the cup, and that's it. Of course, you can top with whipped cream. I definitely did, because who doesn't love whipped cream on the top of your frozen drinks? So I did that and then drizzled it with some caramel sauce. And then I had to be super festive and put in a red and white striped straw, so I did that and enjoyed. Patrick and I made both of these while filming, so we had two of them and we could not stop drinking them. They're so good, you guys have to try it. Now I'm going to show you guys how to make Christmas cookies and these are so good. They're a little bit of a different take on a Christmas cookie because they're with ginger snaps, which are my favorite. So I started down by melting down some white chocolate and then I just, just took some ginger snap cookies which I bought from the store. You can get crafty and make your own ginger snaps if you want to but this is just a little bit easier. And I dipped it into the white chocolate halfway and then I just took some red and green sprinkles and I sprinkled it on the chocolate while it's still hot. You want to make sure that you do that and not while it's dry because otherwise they won't stick to it. So I just repeated that process until all of the cookies were dunked and then you basically just let them sit and they're super yummy, super easy to make. I seriously love them, but mostly because ginger snaps are my favorite cookie. <laughs> 
And lastly, moving on to my fashion essentials. When it comes to fall to winter transition, I think the biggest thing for me is definitely having winter accessories and winter jackets. Now, I still wear my comfy sweaters that I wore in the fall all year round, so what I like to do is layer them. So I take my jackets, which I usually buy in like neutral colors, so like a cream or like a gray, um, and I basically wear those all year round. I love really fluffy, comfy ones, and then I love a little bit more of a sleek one that you can wear maybe on a night out or something a little bit nicer. Um, so you kind of have versatile options. And then, of course, scarves and mittens are like my go-to. It's just something you need when it starts getting colder, so I always reach for those. Um, just kind of neutral color ones are always my favorite. And then lastly, one of my fall to winter transition favorites is definitely velvet. I don't know if you guys have been noticing, but velvet has been coming out like crazy. So I love this velvet maxi dress. I basically pair it with the cardigan that you saw all over my fall winter or fall fashion videos. And I kind of dress it up a little bit more wintry, but I think it's gonna look awesome, layered, and it's just one of my essentials to kind of buy that type of fabric this year. So since those are just my fall to winter fashion essentials, let me know in the comments below what winter styling videos you guys want to see this year. But that's my video for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you do and are excited for my winter videos, be sure to give this video a thumbs up because this is just the start and I'm really excited. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!